All right, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11. So I want to find the value of this. So for my solution, I'm going to rewrite my equation, or sorry, my problem over here. So I 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11. Now, notice how all of these terms here are the same. So I have all the same terms adding with each other. And if I have something in the form a to the power of b plus a to the power of b plus a to the power of b plus a to the power of b, I can simply just factor out a to the power of b from here. So I get a to the power of b times, well, a to the power of b divided by itself is 1. So I get a to the power of b times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So in this case, I have a to the power of 11 plus itself 4 times. So I can factor out a to the power of 11. And I get a to the power of 11 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. And now 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4. So I get 8 to the power of 11 times 4. Now from here, 8 to the power of 11, I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 3. I'm gonna, all I did was rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. And now 4, I can also rewrite this as a power of 2. 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. From here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 11 that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times 11, which is equal to 2 to the power of 33, because 3 times 11 is 33. So I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 11, which is equal to 2 to the power of 33. So now I have 2 to the power of 33 times 2 squared. Now, the last part is fairly easy step. Because both of these bases are the same, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So over here, I have 2 to the power of 33 times 2 squared. I can think of a as 2, m as 33, and n as 2. So I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 33 plus 2 which is equal to 2 to the power of 35. So this is my final answer, and I actually can't simplify this anymore because 2 to the power of 35 is a crazy big number. So this is my final answer. And also, the only way that this solving process could have been faster is in my first step over here. I took a whole three steps to rewrite 8 to the power of 11 plus itself 4 times as 8 to the power of 11 times 4, when I could have just saw that when it's the same term adding by itself x amount of times, it's just that term times x. So that's a faster way. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 512. So 512, this is the same thing as 16 times 32. And now I can write this as 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 16 times 32. Now, 16 is equal to 2 to the power of 4, and 32 is equal to 2 to the power of 5. 
So this is why I rewrote 512 as 16 times 32, because now two to the, I have 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power 5. And notice how we have another base of 2 over here, 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x. So now I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 5. Now all my terms are bases of 2. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So right here we have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 5, which is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4 plus 5. And 4 plus 5, that's equal to 9. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 9. And also, instead of doing all that, remember over here how we had at the start 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x equals 512. 512 is equal to, well, we know that 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So 512 is 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 4, which is 2 to the power of 9. So we could have just set at the start that 512 is equal to 2 to the power of 9, but we, but some people don't know that 2 to the power of 9 is equal to 512, so that's why we have to do all of that. So now going back here, we have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 9. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, we can say that m is equal to 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x, and n is equal to 9. So because these two bases are the same, this means that 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 9. Now, 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. So now I have 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 3 squared. And now again, I can use this property because both my bases are the same. So this means that 4 to the power of x is equal to 2. And now 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. So I get 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x is going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is 2 to the power of 2x. This is equal to 2. Now, I'm going to use this property again. 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. So then, because these two bases are the same, I get 2x is equal to 1. And now, if I divide both sides by 2, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 1 half. So now, to check, my original equation was 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. So I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. And we said that x is equal to 1 half. So I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of 1 half is equal to 512. Now, I'm going to work my day way down from the top. So I first start with 4 to the power of 1 half. Now, 4 to the power of 1 half is the same thing as the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2, meaning I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 512. Now from here, 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 9. So I have 2 to the power of 9 is equal to 512. And finally, 2 to the power of 9, that's equal to 512, as we already said at the start. So we get 512 is equal to 512.